Aquas. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax, and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, your blunt, your cigarettes, your drink, your fruit, your water. Y'all know I don't give a fuck, just do you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me because you don't have to and you do. And for that, I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means the world to me. All right? All right, my lovely Aquas. This is going to be a reading on what this per how your person is feeling about you. All right? So the cards that I pulled were Euretha, Chasing Thrills, Joy and Laughter. Okay? So you guys probably had a lot of fun. You probably have a lot of fun with this person. You know, by chasing thrills and shit. Yeah, you know, I'm an aqua too, so you know, we have the we have the most fun. Anybody we will, we we always bring out the party. We we are the life of the party, all right? This you you make this um, person feels feel a lot of joy and laughter, you know what I'm saying? You probably probably make them laugh all the time. You know, we are the class clowns. But yeah, you probably make them laugh on the time and they feel a lot of joy when they're with you. Even when they're not with you, they just feel with so much joy, all right? You got the influence card here. Dark ta dark, dark ta attachments and third parties. So yeah, they can feel you have some dark attachments, possibly third parties going on, on switches, all right? Next card we got is fantasy, dream, fairy tale, and imagination. So you like a fairy tale out the book to them, a dream come true, okay? And like I said, they can't stop thinking about you. They probably had a, you probably, you guys have a lot of fun together, okay? A lot of fun. And, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you a dream come true to them. You they fantasy. That's what's up, Aquas, okay? I'm gonna get like this so I can move them out the way. We got spirit of the child, innocent, immature, and adventurous. So yeah, you bring the kid out of them. You know, they're you bring the kid out of them. Okay, they can be a kid with you. You know what I'm saying? Childlike, you know, young at heart. We got innocent, immature, and adventurous. Like I said, y'all have a lot of fun together. We the life of the party. We bring the party. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go on all types of adventure, adventures and shit. All right, and and they like that. They enjoy those thrills. They enjoy chasing them thrills with you and laughing it up. You know what I'm saying? Full of joy and happiness and positivity. All right. That's what's up, Aquas. Okay, let me move this shit over there. All right, we got Spirit of the Past, Nostalgic, Aching, Old Flame. So for some of you, this is an old flame. And this person reminisces about you. Think about all the good times you guys shared and had. Because like I said, you are the life of the party. All right? And um, they just be aching when they think about you. Okay? We got spirit of time. Illusion, endless, and waiting. Yeah, this person will wait for you at the end of time. All right? They waiting patiently. All right, we got spirit of spider spirit. Faith, destiny, and free will. Yeah, they're waiting for you because they know you're their destiny. And you guys was fated to be together, okay? That's for sure, Bacchus. We got divine masculine, all right? So either some of you are dealing with a divine masculine. Yeah, some of you are dealing with a divine masculine, or this is divine masculine. Yeah, some of you dealing with the divine masculine. Yeah, I, I said it right the first time. Shit. Sure. Roller coaster high, highest high adrenaline rush. Yeah, they feel you in adrenaline rush, honey. Yes, they are, and you are the highest of the highs. They ain't they never met nobody quite like you. Okay, you match them, you match their energy, and they like this shit. All right. We got denial, not facing truth, irrational and reason, reasoning. Okay, so they feel that you in denial about something. All right, you ain't facing the truth about something. You could be a little irrational. All right? Not really reasoning with them. Okay? Just apply to your life and leave the rest. That's not going to apply for everybody. Just apply to your right. Chew the meat and spit out the bones. Okay? Chew the meat and spit out the bones. 
if this is not your story, check your um your moon, your rising, and your Venus placements. All right, we got the exhibitionist. I love how fearless you are. Because mm -hmm, you know we ain't never scared. Ain't no aqua never scared. All right, and they like that shit about you, you know? They like that attribute, that quality that you have, okay? We got the glow. You make me so incredibly happy. Like I said, y'all bring, bring y'all the life of the party. You know, there's no dumb moment with no Aquarius. All right, you guys are very highly smart and intelligent. You can keep a uh, keep a uh, conversation going because you're very highly intelligent. You know what I'm saying? Because we rule the mind. So you got so much to talk about, so many places to take them, show them. You know, show so many places you guys you showed this person. You know what I'm saying? Because you you know every damn body. You popular. You know where all the good hot spots at. You know what I mean? So yeah. They like that shit, and they, rem they reminiscing on that shit. Like I said, ain't nothing, ain't nobody like you. You're the highest of the high, all right? We got the abandoned. I want to please you in every way. They sure in the fuck do, okay? You the one for them. They already know that. They feel that you guys were fated to be together, and they want you and only, they want you and only you hunties, Okay? All right, they want you in every way, every which way, and when they get you, they gonna turn turn you. Um, they gonna um, what's that saying? They gonna turn you every which way but loose. Okay, all right. We got the stronghold. I feel safe with you. Yeah, that's what's up. You know, they probably didn't feel safe in their other relationships. You know, I always gotta look over their shoulders and shit and worry about what the next motherfucker was doing. But not with you. Not with you, boo. You match their energy, okay? You match their energy. It was destined for you guys to meet, to be together. And they know it, all right? They can talk to you about anything. You're not going to go tell all their business. What they see is what they get with you. You know what I'm saying? You're a real motherfucker, and they like that. And they're very comfortable around you. All right, we got occupation. So, yeah, you some of y'all could be a, a seamstress. You know what I'm saying? They like that you have an occupation. They like that you are doing something with yourself, you know? Some other people that they was probably dealing with, they were probably doing shit, you know? So they like you that you got something going on about yourself, and they admire that. All right, all right. Put that on the side. We got privileged ladies, so they feel that you're a privileged lady. You could be, you come, you could come from a wealthy family, or got just got a lot of money, all right, or just just that hustler. You know what I'm saying? And make you privileged and shit, all right. But they they like that you, um, they feel that you are a privileged lady. You got it going out on, okay? Taking care of your bees, niggas. All right, we got sudden wealth. So this person felt like they hit the jackpot with you, honey. See on the card, they say seven, seven, seven. Mm -hmm. They hit that slot machine and, and 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 got seven, seven, seven. Hit the jackpot when they came across you because they they, they know y'all faded to be together. They know you the one. They know you're their destiny. Okay. All right. Yes, we are the jackpot. All right, we got the temple path. So they know that they was divine divinely led by you divinely led to you you know because on um, the road only go this way and it's all lit up right here like yeah that's where you are okay so they know you their destiny you guys was fated to be together and and the the universe has put them on the right path with which led them to you all right that's what's up that's what's up i quiz me like me like all right we got the sun card so you make this person a feel incredibly happy oh that's what's up they feel that you're the one you're their true love all right and there's innocence and rebirth when this when you see the sun card all right this person who feels that you bring in a great relationship into their life some type of brightness you know brighten their day brighten up their life all right so much caring so much caring Me like me like me like me like me like me. I already got daughter romance. Like I said, 
the path led led them to you all right and they opened their they opened their heart they opened their heart okay because their heart was locked up in this cage and it was closed the doors was closed they had their heart all locked in this cage and shit the doors closed but not with you boo the motherfucking doors is open you see how the doors opened up now they know you the one yeah they know you the one for them let me find where's that book at where's the book hold on for a second let me see let me check the numbers you know the numbers have meanings, significant meanings to them as well. Hold on. Let's read these numbers. Alright, so we we know number one is beginnings. Alright. Independence victory. Alright. So it's twelve. Twelve is three. So yeah, we got Creativity, harmony, 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 happiness, growth, enthusiasm, mm -hmm. and children. Could be children involved. You could have children or they could have children. Y'all going to have some children together. All right. What else? Six. Doing a romance. This is three. Three plus three is six. You always, when they're, well, do you supposed to, I know you're not supposed to, uh, we gonna say six today. I don't think you're supposed to um, drop uh, master numbers down. But shit, I don't know what the hell 33 is. Um, I'm about to look that up. Y'all can go check that out. Go look 33 up. Yeah, that part. But we gonna go with six right now. So six is family, peace, cooperation, compromise, loyalty, roles. All right. Mm-hmm. This person is ready to take the role of your new lover, your only lover, your true lover, your one and only true lover. All right? Ain't no other. Hold on, let me drink some tea. We can leave them right there. Yeah, this person wants to manifest a relationship with you and they got all the tools to do so they want a reunion they want to celebrate being back together they want to reconcile and celebrate being back together because like i said you guys had a lot of fun when y'all was together all right shared a lot of happy times and they want that shit back they know you don't want it. Bottom of the deck, we got temperance. It's all bright in the damn camera. Let me see. Oh. Oh, let me put these damn cards down. Let me see. Let me see. All right, we got temperance, Sagittarius. So yeah, this person wants to bring balance back into your late relationship. Wants to bring harmony. You, yeah, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. All right. Oh, 
or the shoe can, you know, the shoe can be on the other foot too, so. They feel you can bring down this into their life. I don't know, that's too many damn cards. Yeah, they want to, um, my bad, y'all. They want to reconcile, okay? They want reconciliation so you guys can celebrate being back together. Like I said, you guys share some good times together. And they want them good times back because they know you're the one. You're their one in true love. You're their only love, okay? And their heart is open. They're, they have opened the door. You've opened it. You've allowed them to open the door to their heart because their heart was all locked in a cage, okay? All, look at that. All locked in a cage. It's in, yeah, all locked in a cage. But now the door is open. You allowed them to open the door to their heart. Mm -hmm. They want you, baby. You could be dealing with a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person feels that you're guarded. It could be a little, yeah, I feel that you're a little bit guarded. Okay. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. again so some of you guys are definitely dealing with a leo but this person feels that you make them incredibly happy all right they see happiness with you all right they feel like you bring in a this person is bringing a great relationship into your life sometimes like i said some type of brightness they're gonna light up your life all right it's gonna be a lot of caring because this person feels that you're their one and true love all right Oh, Aquas, I'm so happy for you. Okay. With that, we got the high priestess. This person is following their intuition, baby. Okay. They following their intuition. Which led them to the path. Divinely led them to you. With this temple of path. Okay. Mm -hmm. They know. They know you the one. And they may not be saying that, but they know you the one. Okay. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Hey, hey, come here. Hey, hey, come here. Yep, they're ready to take a chance with you, honey. They're ready to take a leap of faith, and they don't care where you guys end up. They just willing to take that chance with you, boo. Okay. And she fishing for that damn flower. She want that damn flower down there. Yes, she do. And she gonna get it. Don't worry, she gonna get it. Even though it's kind of hard to reach. You guys probably, some of y'all probably be a little hard to reach, but uh, they gonna get it. They gonna get it. You should be dealing with Aquarius. We got the Two of Wands and the Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, yeah, this person is waiting for you to open up and come forward because they know you're their wish fulfillment. Yes, they do. They know you they wish fulfillment. Oh, you're sweet. You're so sweet, Aquas. Get one more card for you. One more card for my boo. You could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? But this person has done a lot of soul searching and has gone within. All right, but you actually... They can feel you is uh you know doing soul soul searching or going within. You know what I mean? But you could be dealing with a Virgo. All right. They just feel you closed off, you know what I'm saying? Doing your own thing. That's why they want you to open up. They want you to come out. Or this person is gonna uh Bring you out of Kermit, uh, Kermit, Kermit. They, <laughs> they gonna bring you out of Hermit mode. Well, I can see why I said Kermit. Shit is with a K. Yeah, they gonna bring you out of Hermit mode. For some of you, you guys been isolated for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Withdrawn within your cells. Just, you know, doing you. And this person finna bring you out there Hermit mode. Okay, all right. All right. 
Let's get you an advice card. Me like. Me like. What is the advice? 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 got the lotus flower my favorite one of my favorite cards unfoldment mm -hmm. we already know where this headed all right let me read it and i'll leave it here a 92 11 so this is a spiritual connection yes indeed it is what number was that? 92? Your spiritual enfoldment is occurring, occur, occur, occurring at all times, whether you're, you're not aware, whether you're not, you are aware of it. Whether or not you are aware of it. It is inevitable. I always had a problem saying that damn word. But you know what I mean. As long as you put trust in the hands of the creator, the one who holds the light, like the lotus, your soul is always reaching for the light to fulfill its karmic destiny. But even in that process, there are periods of darkness and times to rest. It is a natural cycle, one that cannot truly be coerced or haltered. It has an inner rhythm of its own, one that is unique to the being that is you. You do not need to strive to be driven by spiritual ambition. It does, it does, wait a minute, you do not need to strive or be driven by spiritual ambition. It does, it does no good to try and force growth upon yourself or others for that matter. Allow, allowing is the key. Allow that place in your, in you that naturally wants to follow the light to do so by recognizing that even when you have complete faith, you will face challenges and occasionally suffering. Your steady faith and love will guide you on your journey of returning to the light. All right, me love. So I'm going to leave it here. If this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. All right, me love. So thanks for watching. Till next time, same back time, same back channel. All right, this is.